Welcome into the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joining now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. And coach, you guys head on down to, uh, to Florida, play a two-game set. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you guys learned out of that trip. Sure. I mean, it was fully committed to uh, six, I think, six or seven days straight of lacrosse. Um, we had a great game Sunday. This young group is really starting to get very cohesive. Mm-hmm. Um, they're starting to go for a lot of different things with creativity, and they're starting to show a little bit of style, which I really, really like. Um, great win against Vassar on Sunday. Tough loss against Skidmore on Thursday. Um, but it, it's hard for me to get mad because I, I see them trying to do these great things mm-hmm. and they're going for things and they're zipping the ball to the inside and we're just a little bit short on the catch or or um, the pass is a little bit off. So it's hard for me to get mad as a coach of a young team to say, hey, don't do that because mm-hmm. I want them getting creative because I think it bodes well for our future. Well, yeah, let's talk about that future. I mean, you have such a young team. What does this type of trip do in terms of building chemistry between the players? Well, I think it's very, very important for them to get to know everybody. And one of the things I do, whether they hate it or love it on spring break, is we ride vans with different people every day. Mm -hmm. We're in rooms with different people. I don't really give them a chance just to hang out with their Mm -hmm. smaller group of friends. It's about getting to know the team. And I think that does wonders for chemistry and wonders for just getting to know people off the field. Mm we're in a we're in an interesting position right now and one of the things we have to figure out this week before we see messiah is um we have 66 percent of the scoring is being uh put up by seniors Mm -hmm. so we've got two you know with brady here and olivia montero taro are they're just crushing it goal wise and we have contributions here and there from other attackers uh, but that's going to be real easy to zero in on so part of spring break and um and this week coming up i think we're really going to focus in on making sure that our goal scoring is a little more balanced is that something that you guys have learned from this trip or it's been the trend for over the season i guess i i think we started off trying to make that happen but i think just the dominance of those two goal scores in brady and monty um have just risen to the point that no matter what defenders you know olivia montero is drawing the best defender of every team we see and she's still putting up four goals a game or five goals a game so we say bring it on to whoever Mm -hmm. um she just is you know going to continue to get mentally tougher and tougher as she plays battles against really good you know the country's top defenders oftentimes mm-hmm. um brady's really come into her own she had a great spring break i think um uh, mallory davila putting up goals every just about every game now which is awesome i, I think we're really pleased with that tori bruno is another one mm-hmm. keely bunce is a freshman is putting up several point games game after game after game so um it's coming from all over the place but i just would like to see it a little more balanced if we could so a lot of excitement you know and uh, optimism headed there sure but let's look forward now you touched on it the messiah game on saturday right. you guys open up with uh you know the quote-unquote team to beat in the conference <laughs> right. uh uh-huh. is that what you want you want to open up against a team like this or would you rather have a couple of other opponents under your belt before you face them listen i think we play one of the toughest schedules in division three um if we're not ready for them now then we'll get them again in april um we, i think that you know, one of the reasons i schedule so tough out of conference is to give our team the best shot at winning the mac uh, ultimately our goal is to go to the ncaa tournament it doesn't matter if you're seven and seven or if you're 14 and zero. At the end of the day, you have to win your conference. Mm-hmm. And um, I think, you know, we play teams like Salisbury and like Gettysburg and like Washington College. Um, even into the Skidmores, I think that we play these teams, Salisbury is another one, mm-hmm. uh, to prepare ourselves to to do the best that we can against in-conference opponents. You know, I'd, I think Messiah plays a pretty tough schedule. I don't think anybody else in our conference plays the kind of schedule that we do. Mm-hmm. Well, Coach, I hope the schedule pays mm-hmm. off and that all the work and things that you learned from this Florida trip will pay off in that uh, Messiah game. We wish we could have brought the sun back. That didn't happen, <laughs> but we brought the snow back, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. We'll deal with the snow. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get the sun later on in the season. It's the first day of spring. we got to hope. Yeah. She's Kathy Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.